Today we're going to be explaining cash flows. A production manager is the one who would put it together. A cash flow is important because it's a snapshot of how much money you're going to have at any given time, when the money is coming in, what your costs are, and whether or not you're going to be able to cover those costs. Essentially, it figures out if you're going to be able to pay your people and pay your bills throughout the production. To create a cash flow, you're going to need the production schedule, a list of all the financiers, and their drawdown schedules, which you can source from the financing contracts or from the producer, and a locked budget. Let's start by breaking this down. On the left-hand side, you have your budget. On the very top, where you see the months, that would be your production schedule. In the middle, you have your dollar figures, which is the amount spent each month. On the right-hand side, highlighted in orange, you'll see the actual total cost. On the very bottom, highlighted in gray, you'll see your total expense. On the bottom left, you'll find your funding organizations. Your funders are the different organizations like the Canada Media Fund or the Rogers Fund that have committed to giving you money to produce your show. If they've committed to giving you $10,000, however, that doesn't mean you're gonna get hundreds of thousands of dollars at the beginning of your show. It means you're gonna have what we call a drawdown schedule. Right beside your funders is the total amount that they've committed to give you. Underneath that, you have your record. It'll be your money coming in, your money coming out, and the difference. In column A, you'll find your research amount. Your research amount can be added by months, but when there's no more research needed, there won't be a cost. There is a total amount for each category, A, B, and C. Adding all of those together will give you your total expenses. Beside each funder, you'll see an amount under a month. Once you add all those together, that will be the total amount the funder will give you over a certain amount of time, which is what a drawdown schedule is. Under each amount, you'll be able to see how much you'll be bringing in each month. Under your inflow minus outflows, you can see that in April, you were minus $200, and that's because none of the funders had yet given you any money. But once you add all of the money that you've brought in in May, you can see that you now have a positive balance. Beside your running balance, you'll see a positive number, but it's smaller than the inflow number. And this is because you have to pay for the amount that you spent the last month. So that's a quick rundown on cash flows. We hope that this made it a little bit easier for you to understand and able to utilize in your own work.